So yesterday I uploaded a video of the fight against Caroline and Justine. I wrote a guide in the description of that video, but I went over the 500 characters limit and, and also that guide is for if you want to do the fight with only Joker, but some people want to do the fight with the whole party, so I'm gonna address that in this video. I still recommend using only Joker. If you want to use the other party members, the fight will become a big mess. Basically what will happen is that Justine and Caroline will start exploiting your weaknesses and if they hit the weaknesses of your party members, they will also remove debuffs on them and buffs on your main character. So yeah, that's the reason why I suggest going solo. Uh, I prefer going with two personas, one for damage and one for support. You can have more supports for different phases to nullify all kinds of damage, but they're not necessary. They will make your life easier, but they're not necessary. For damage dealer, the choice is fairly limited. I will suggest going with either Kaguya or Yoshitsune because they're the highest damaging characters in the game. Yoshitsune is slightly better. Yoshitsune has a high damage without adding any passive, so you can use those slots to learn skills like, I don't know, other elemental immunities that Yoshitsune doesn't have. So don't buy Kaguya just to do the fight. If you if you don't have Kaguya, then go with Yoshitsune. Either one is fine. I think Yoshitsune is easier to use and also is more reliable. Kaguya hits 4 to 8 times and it's random. It can hit one of the enemies 4 times and the other one 8 times. So yeah, that's a problem when when doing the fight. Yoshitsune will always hit 8 times. So the only way there will be a health gap between Justin and Caroline is that if you miss one of them. There is a lot more variety for choice of support. In my previous video I said if you use Kaguya or go with Odin and if you use Yoshitsune go with Shiva or someone with Null, Bless and Curse. Uh, but probably it's more efficient to just go with Odin in either case. I suggested Shiva with Yoshitsune because you can have one with Repel, Curse and Bless and one with Nullify, Curse and Bless. And using that strategy you could have manipulated the health of the twins. Whenever I tried, I tried this fight three times and every time Caroline used Divine Judgment first and then the next turn Justine used Demonic Decree. But then Lettuce Sauce uploaded the video on how he or she killed the two of them and in that video they still used the two skills on the same turn so yeah. It's probably just better to go with Odin and Yoshitsune and repel every one of those skills. If you don't understand what I'm saying right now uh, I will explain it better while I'm analyzing the fight. So don't be afraid if you're not understanding what I'm saying about Divine Judgment and Demonic Decree. First I'm gonna go through the Persona Fusions. So the most important skills on Odin are definitely Drain Ice, Spell Master Invigorate Free, Concentrate and Heat Riser. Or Charge instead of Concentrate if you're using Yoshitsune. The reason why Drain Ice is important is because if you get frozen by Justine, you will die. Well, if you're not on Merciless, you will probably survive, but I'm saying it just in case you're doing it in Merciless difficulty. You can either just summon or fuse a random Odin and then teach all the skills through Gallows Strangling, but I'm going to show you the fusion path I used. First I needed Heat Riser from Satanel. I fused Satanel with Jatayu to get Kali. Kali is a good persona to go through because Kali also learns Drain Nuke. Then I needed Spellmaster, so I took Koryu and fused it with Black Rider to get Abaddon. Abaddon is another persona you want to go through because Abaddon learns Drain Physical which is helpful. So then I just fused Abaddon and Kali to get Odin. I inherited Heat Riser, Spellmaster, Drain Physical and Drain Nuke and I also learned Concentrate at level 85. Then to learn Drain Ice I just kept doing Gallows Fusion with Satan. And I talked Invigorate Free and High Counter using skill cards from Memento Request. High counter is completely optional, you don't, you don't even need it. It's probably better to learn another drain element actually. If you're going to use Yoshitsune then you also need to do Gallows Fusion to learn charge. There are many personas with Invigorate Free or Charge or other drain elements. Just choose whatever you want and do it. I suggest saving before doing that and then keep reloading so that you don't waste uh, resources. If you have a lot of money then just keep doing it without saving and reloading. So next one is Kaguya. There is more difficult to fuse in the sense that if you want magic ability which increases your magic damage by 25% you will need to do network fusions. 
you can do network fusions only once a day so you will have to save before doing that basically what you do is you sacrifice one persona through network fusion and then you will get one random persona with random skills there is basically like wonder trade in pokemon if you if you know that getting magic ability is completely random it took me half an hour of saving and reloading it might take you like one minute or less or hours before you get one and also the persona you will get with that skill will be random i got bishamoten so the fusion path i'm doing is based on that persona you will probably get another persona so you might have to use another fusion path still magic ability is not really necessary plus 25 percent magic damage is not a lot you can use the slot of magic ability to learn something else like i don't know drain physical or drain other elements it's fine either way having more elemental immunities will make you more tanky so it's actually safer to have something else instead of magic ability okay but let's go to the fusion first thing i fused principality that had blast boost at level 35 to a throne with blast amplification i inherited both blast boost and blast amp on the persona that was created which was power then I fused power with Bishamoten to get Moloch. Here I inherited magic ability, blast amplification, blast boost, and I also learned drain fire. Drain fire is important because you want to remove the weakness to fire. So even if you don't have magic ability from Bishamoten, I'd say fuse Bishamoten to power either way so that you get drain fire. And then if you have magic ability on another character, you can do Gallows Fusion to inherit that magic ability at the end. Then from Moloch onwards, it was a big mess. Basically, I kept uh, making mistakes, so uh, I went a long way before I reached Kaguya. You can probably find an easier way, but this is what I did. I fused Moloch to Huapo to get Take Minakata. Then I fused Take Minakata to Yaxini to get Isis. I fused Isis to Obarion to get Nue. And then I fused Nue to Omraki to get Kaguya. As you can see, there is a very long fusion path, so I suggest just looking into an easier way. There are probably easier ways. If you don't want to look for other ways, there is the way I did it. You won't waste a lot of resources doing this, so it's fine, I guess. When you're fusing Kaguya, if you remember my min maxing guide, when you're doing all those training, you can keep going in and out of the result screen to increase the uh, stats you want. You can also do the same with fusing. So if you want to min max Kaguya, then make sure the strength is not an highlighted stat when you're fusing. There is not necessary, it's just in case you want to min max. Then after that I started leveling my Kaguya to level 99 through Gallus Fusion. I inherited Invigorate Free and Drain Ice from Satan, and I learned Spell Master from Koryu. When doing this, just make sure to maximize at least her magic stat to increase her damage output. In this stage, if you don't have magic ability, then also learn another elemental immunity from whatever persona you want. I will suggest maybe Null Electricity from Barong, a level 52 Emperor persona. Because if you have Null Electricity, the twins won't be able to shock you, so yeah, that might be helpful. If you want Yoshitsune instead of Kaguya, the only difference is Arms Master instead of Spell Master, Regenerate Free instead of Invigorate Free maybe. It's actually not important. And then just every elemental immunity that you can add instead of bless amplification, boost and magic ability. Actually, you d I don't think you have to waste your time looking for a fusion pass for Yoshitsune. I noticed that you can get Null Wind from Yatagarasu and then Regenerate Free plus Firm Stance from Futsunushi. The rest you can just learn it through Gallows Fusion. If you want specific immunities, the ones I recommend are Drain Ice from Satan, Null Electricity from Barong, and Repel Curse from Sandalfoon, a level 75 Moon Persona. Repel Curse and Drain Ice are almost necessary, the other ones, like Null Electricity, are optional. You can just add whatever you want. If you want to fight with party members, then you will have to swap members in between the different phases. Caroline and Justine will use different elements depending on the phase. They will start with fire, ice, thunder and wind. So I recommend going with Haru and Makoto at the beginning. You can either leave the third party member out so they don't have weaknesses to exploit 
or you can add another one if you want. First phase, casually we use a physical attack, and Justin will use a gun attack. The rotation on your main character is hit riser and charge, or charge and hit riser, and then Hasotobi or shining arrows. If you're fighting with Haru in your team, which has hit riser, you don't have to use hit riser on your main character. You can just go with concentration or charge, and then Hasotobi or shining arrows. It's easy to notice the changing phases because the twins will have a dialogue. In phase 2, they will start using elemental attacks. The rotation is Caroline starts with fire and then thunder, while Justin starts with ice and then wind. If one of your characters get either burned or shot, Justin will start using wind attacks on that character to get a technical damage bonus. If one of your characters get frozen, then Caroline will start using God's hand on that character. On higher difficulties, God's hand on a frozen character will likely kill him or kill her. So if you can, use an item or a skill to remove the frozen status. Don't use your main character to remove that. Your main character should just focus on dealing damage. When Caroline and Justine goes under around 60% HP, they will start the third phase. If you think they're going to start the third phase or they already started it, change Makoto and Haru with Morgana and another character. In the third phase, Caroline will start using Psy spell and Justine will start using nuke spells. If you don't have anyone in the team with weaknesses to those two elements, then Caroline will use Psy and then Bless, and Justine will use Nuke and then Curse. They will keep repeating the same two skills until the next phase. If one of the two twins goes under 50% HP, the other one will use the Arahan to fully heal her. It's better if you deal enough damage to get both of them under 50% HP, because if you get only one of them under 50% HP, then when you use Hustle Toby or Shining Arrows, there will be a gap in their health. It is bad because if you kill only one of them, the other one will resurrect the dead one to half health. On the fourth phase, they will start using all different types of attack. There is where I suggest you just kill all the party members. They will probably get in the way and the fight is gonna end soon anyway. If you're solo or if your party members are dead and they don't have weaknesses to exploit, they will start using all elements in order. First physical, then gun, fire, ice, thunder, wind, psy, nuke, bless and curse. When the next phase starts, they will start using spells of higher tier. So the rotation is still the same as the previous one if you don't have weaknesses. But for Bless and Curse, the spells they will use are Divine Judgment and Demonic Decree. Divine Judgment and Demonic Decree deal 50% of your health as damage, so if you repel those two attacks, they will deal a lot of damage. They might deal something like 2k if they have 4k health. So if you're using Yoshitsuna and Odin, then everything is fine, just keep doing whatever you are doing. If you're using Kaguya and Odin, Kaguya doesn't have Repel Curse or Repel Bless, so when you see that they use Psy and Nuke, and you know they're going to use Divine Judgment and the Money Decree on the next turn, make sure you have Odin out instead of Kaguya. Even if you have to break your rotation for one turn, leave Odin out the turn before they start using Divine Judgment and the Money Decree, so that when they use those two skills, you will repel both of them and then deal a lot of damage. After they use Divine Judgment and Demonic Decree, they will go into their 6th phase. In the 6th phase, the order when they use their skills will be randomized. The skills are the same as the previous phase, but this time it will be more difficult to predict when they use Divine Judgment and Demonic Decree. If you see that one of them has more HP than the other one, and you are almost sure you won't be able to kill both of them at the same time, then do a single attack to the one that has more HP. It can be a normal attack, or if you have other personas, then use other personas. Just know that you only have one or maybe two chances to do that, I will just limit myself to one. If you don't do enough damage in two or three turns, then the two twins will one-shot you. Even if they have a lot of health difference at that time, just go with Shining Arrows or Hustle Toby and try to kill both of them. Now if one dies and the other one survives, the surviving one will resurrect the dead one. If you see that the one that survived has a little HP, you can kill that one. They will both go to 50% health and then you can restart doing the rotation. 
you can still do your normal rotation of hit riser, concentrate or charge and then shining arrows or hustle toby. But if it takes you too many turns to win the battle, they might just go and one shot you. But yeah, I think that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I think I should have added something else or I forgot to say something. Feel free to leave a dislike and maybe give me some feedback. Thank you for watching and maybe see you in the next video. I'm making the video to help people. It's not like I'm making this because the video from yesterday was the monetizer or anything. I want a new microphone. <laughs>